Hi, I'm Harold Weinbreck, and it's my distinct privilege and honor to serve as the mayor of the most vibrant community in the country. And as we navigate the new normal we find ourselves in, I'd like to share with you the state of Cary. In 2020, the world saw staggering losses due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and tragically, many lost their lives. Others suffered serious physical and mental health issues, and countless people lost their jobs, and longtime businesses closed their doors forever. And while we're all anxious to move on from 2020, I think it's important to recognize that the past year provided us the opportunity to observe and demonstrate acts of kindness and courage while persevering through a very tough year together. In March of 2020, Town Hall and most of our facilities were closed to the public and Cary staff shifted to emergency operations to keep the crucial and essential parts of our government working without interruption. Our frontline workers became hometown heroes as sanitation workers, firefighters, and police officers kept our community safe and clean. Our 311 Center, which opened in January of 2020, played a critical role throughout the year, serving as a one-stop connection point with our citizens. And the remainder of the town's 1,200 employees transitioned to working remotely with great adaptability. We are so blessed to have all of them, and they deserve our thanks. Kerry wasn't immune to the pandemic. In fact, the first case officially reported in North Carolina was here in Kerry. By year's end, at least 16 Kerry residents lost their lives to COVID-19, and over 5,000 had been infected. Many businesses struggled and continue to struggle. The town's fiscal year budget conservatively assumes revenue losses as much as 11 million less than projected. Even so, we fared much better than most municipalities. This year's budget of $427.6 million includes both operating and capital spending and $41.8 million in voter-approved general obligation bond projects. America is technically in a recession, which means there have been back-to-back -back quarterly declines in the GDP. However, Kerry continues to fare well, especially with employment. The last data we received showed an unemployment rate nationally at about 6.7%. Statewide was at 6.3%, and Cary's unemployment rate was at 4.9%. In fact, Cary saw an addition of over 1,600 jobs this past year through new and expanding businesses. But the economy is only part of the story of last year. If the pandemic weren't enough, 2020 brought a horrible acts of racial injustice that prompted millions of people across the nation to pour into the streets and cry out for change. Cary citizens peacefully protested with several events and marches. You see, Cary is a diverse community that embraces and celebrates diversity. And there is absolutely no place for injustices of any kind. On June 3rd of last year, I signed President Obama's mayor's pledge in which I promised that the town would review police use of force policies and engage our community in a broad range of input experiences and stories. We strive to leave a better community for our children. So in 2020, Kerry also committed to becoming an even better steward of our environment. The town is approximately 85% developed, with 30% permanently retained as open space. This protects our wildlife, improves our air and water quality, and mitigates flooding. 
we have hired an urban forestry manager to further this initiative. The town's fleet, particularly in the last few years, has been transitioning to more green vehicles, allowing us to reduce our emissions. We recently approved the purchase of our first electric garbage truck. Council will be acting on additional proposals in the coming months. We will be looking to supplement our current small solar installations, such as bus stops, with the implementation of solar on the tops of town facilities. After a year's effort, the town purchased 217 acres of former farmland along Ernest Jones Road in Chatham County. Kerry plans to eventually use the land for recreational activities and open space preservation. Transformative developments are happening throughout our town, with downtown and the Eastern Gateway seeing the biggest activity. The Fenton development is well underway, while across the street, Epic Games purchased the 87-acre site of the old Cary Town Center and will transform it into their new global headquarters. We are looking forward to working with them on this exciting project. The Community Recreation and Sports Center project, originally planned to occupy a portion of the former mall site, is moving forward and we're still exploring all our options now. Phase two of the downtown park has been designed and construction will begin in 2021. While development known as the Walker is under construction around the parking deck next to the library and adjacent to the downtown park. We are staying committed to working with the business community on projects like these because we believe in the strength and resiliency of all of us who live and work here to meet the challenges that will come about from the worst global pandemic in over 100 years. Cary's 150th anniversary, or sesquicentennial, will be on April 3rd, 2021, which is the fourth month, the third day in the 21st year. Or an easy way to remember that is four, three, two, one. The 150th task force created in 2018 has been planning celebrations to occur throughout the year to honor the town's past, engage citizens in the present, and excite people about the future. Some plans have been shifted due to the pandemic, and the current lineup is looking exciting. You can visit carry150.org to see upcoming events and share your own unique carry story, or scroll along the historical timeline. Throughout its history and up to this very moment, Cary has proven to be a resilient community. By so many measures, we have been asked to put our faith in each other, to be kind to one another, and to keep each other safe. And I'm so proud of the way all those calls have been answered time and time again. We have found the courage and strength to persevere. And it is that courage and strength that will get us through the remainder of this pandemic safely. It is that courage and strength that will keep our economy robust. And it is that courage and strength that will keep us one of the greatest communities in the nation. Together, 2021 will be a year we will make carry better than ever.